Tonight, a push from Republican lawmakers to tell you about to restrict drag shows in North Carolina. A bill filed today in the House echoes a nationwide effort many are calling a drag ban. Essentially, it would make it illegal for drag performances in public or in front of minors. Advocates like Equality NC say this is the latest push from lawmakers to erase LGBTQ expression, while those in support of the bill say it's necessary to protect children. WCNC Charlotte's Julie Kaufman has reaction from both sides. Oh, this is a Beyonce outfit too. When Emery Sloan turns into Erica Chanel, it's not just a form of self-expression, it's her career. It gives me that boost of confidence that I don't have. Chanel's livelihood, like every drag queen in North Carolina, now threatened by House Bill 673. The bill would group drag shows in with exotic dancing, saying it would be illegal to perform on public property or in front of minors. The penalties would be a misdemeanor for the first offense and a felony for the second. When I found about this bill this morning, I just sat in my bed and I cried. The language copying others filed in state legislatures nationwide is confusing to Chanel. What if I had to stop at a gas station? Am I able to get out the car to pump the gas or go in or is that going to be considered me being out in public? Representative Jeff Zinger tells WCNC Charlotte he filed the bill in response to an incident at a drag show in his district. Paul Brintley with the North Carolina Faith and Freedom Coalition says he supports it. I wonder why would anybody want to have a show like that in front of a child? When asked why he thinks drag shows are inappropriate, he said this. We would not uh, support any person that was wanting to dance or expose themselves, no matter what gender that they are, in front of a child or in a public environment. There's different types of drag and there's different types of performers, so I just feel like people don't really understand that. Chanel worries the bill would lead to canceling pride events, drag brunches, and ultimately she doesn't know where the line would be drawn to protect the drag community. Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte. And one thing that we'll continue to watch as the story develops, how State Representative Tricia Cotham of Mecklenburg County plans to vote on this. So Cotham was once regarded as a champion for LGBTQ rights as a Democrat. She has since switched over to the Republican Party. So we still don't know if she will side with her new party and support this bill. We have reached out to her office for comment and we are still waiting to hear back.